some really interesting commentary from the Secretary of State Blinken over the weekend and also U.S.'s strongest criticism yet of Israel since October 7. Uh, how are you reading those comments? Yes, hi, good morning, uh, Jumana. I mean, just very quickly on what uh, Blinken said about the, um, uh, the risk of, of Israel inheriting an insurgency. I mean, almost like to his point immediately, I mean, we had overnight uh, um, uh, clashes in northern Gaza. I mean, this is an area that Israel declared that it was, it was clear of Hamas militants months ago. I mean, that's where it, it started uh, its invasion of Gaza more than seven months ago. And just overnight, we had uh, uh, reports uh, by the Associated Press of uh, clashes in uh, the Jabalia refugee camp and also the neighborhood of Azaytun, which is near Gaza City. And, I mean, that really is almost like confirmation of what Blinken warned about. Yes, and indeed, you know, in those comments, he said Israel risks holding the bag on an enduring insurgency. So a very cautionary tone there. But let me just ask you about what is actually happening in Rafah. Uh, again, reports of the weekend that another 100,000 100, people left Rafah by foot. That brings the total tally to 300,000. Uh, the expectation on the ground is that this larger ground assault may still actually take place. Yes, Jumana. I mean, we have a very compelling story from our, from our colleague, Faris Akram. I mean, he is uh, from Gaza, um, but he's reporting uh, for us from, from outside Gaza, obviously talking to people there. And we have, we have like this really compelling account of how people are moving en masse from uh, Rafah to uh, this area called Al Mawasi, which is on the coast near the, the town of Khan Yunis. And, um, uh, you know, Faris's report, I mean, we, we, we hear about people paying as much as a thousand dollars for a tent. I mean, they're moving to an area where there, there are already almost half a million people living in tents in, in, in horrendous conditions. I mean, no food, no water, uh, no sanitation, uh, uh, you know, basically living am amid destruction because these areas where they're moving to have been uh, targeted by Israel, you know, in the past. thousand dollars for a tent wow um sam but of course the background to all of this is the ongoing discussions about a potential true deal again we got some commentary from turkish president erdogan over the weekend saying that u.s and europe aren't doing enough to pressure israel to agree to a ceasefire well, what is the latest there and what are we hearing as well from other arab states Absolutely. Good question, Jumana. I mean, we obviously, we were all following very closely the talks in Cairo. On the U.S. side, they were being led by the CIA director, William Burns, and we have a, also a good story on the terminal about his role in all of this. In fact, a, a lot of... Uh, um, officials that I've spoken to here in our in, in our region were very optimistic, you know, that Burns was involved, someone like him with a lot of experience and, and kind of operating... Um, you know, quietly, uh, that, that we would ha we would see results. But unfortunately, you know, he left, uh, and then uh, we had Israel, you know, a week ago commence its uh, invasion of, of, of Rafah. So, uh, I mean, obviously, all eyes are going to be again whether we, you know, on whether we're going to be able to uh, renew those those talks in in Cairo or elsewhere. I mean, those talks, uh, in addition to to the U.S., we had the Egyptians playing a key role, and. Uh, you know, there were obviously the Egyptians talking to Hamas directly, and then we had we had Qatar playing a very important role. I mean, Egypt, which has been you know playing a very important role in these talks, is now saying, uh, you know, after Israel's incursion into into Rafah, that it, it may join South Africa in its case, uh, you know, at the International uh, Court of Justice, uh, accusing uh, Israel of genocide, and also there are Egyptian officials warning that Egypt's. Uh, uh, peace treaty with, with, uh, with Israel is actually in peril.